Ben, tell me about this condition, myocarditis. Exactly what does that, what is that? Myocarditis. Myo means muscle, carditis means heart. Myoitis means inflammation. Mm. Myocarditis is an inflammation of the heart muscle. There's an associated inflammatory condition that affects the heart called pericarditis, which affects the lining or the outer sac of the heart. The heart sits in a, mm. in a, a tissue lining or a mm. sac called the pericardium, and that gets inflamed. It gets inflamed from things that are getting into the bloodstream. Now, as I said earlier, microbial infections can do it, but mm. inoculations can do it too. So one of the side effects associated with this inoculation is myocarditis and pericarditis, and it's just nor it's a normal thing. It doesn't happen a lot, but it can happen. There are all kinds of other things that can happen as well. There's neurological issues that are associated with uh, with the inoculation, Bell's palsy and movement disorders and yeah. uh, brain fog, and there's joint problems. There's all kinds of things happening because you're basically violating the sanctity of the blood with an offending agent is in there... the name of activating the immune system so the next time that you're, uh, the next time you interact with that offending agent, your immune system is prepared. And there's a lot bigger, we have a lot bigger fish to fry. Right. And the fish that we could fry are fish that we can fry from the comfort of our own living rooms and bathrooms and mm. bedrooms and mm. kitchens and from the comfort of our own homes. Yeah. These are the yeah. fish that we can fry. I mean, you could take care of your blood sugar issues, your digestive issues, and your mm -hmm. stress management issues. From, by yourself. There's no drugs that can do any of that. There's no drugs that can help you with your digestive problems or for that matter your blood sugar problems or your adrenal or thyroid issues. Right. But those are all things we can do and that's why I love longevity so much. You know, uh, longevity as we've said before used to be called American longevity. Mm. Because, and I asked Doc Wallach, you know, I told you this before, why do you call it American longevity? He called it America, American longevity because it represented his two favorite things, yeah. freedom the ability to do your own, live your own life as you see fit, right. and longevity, health. And when you bring those two together, you create that's you create American longevity or longevity. Mm. The idea that we can be free to to live how we want to live, independent of authorities, independent of the medical model, yeah. with limits, of course, and uh, we can take care of our own health, our own longevity yeah. by doing that. And that's why nutritional supplementation is so valuable. You don't need to go to a health authority to get your nutritional supplements for now. Yeah, you know. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to uh, uh, interact with your insurance company or your pharmacy. You don't. You can do that from the comfort of your own computer and living room. Mm. Just order your longevity products. Get on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine well, and notice ben, that you're losing weight. Notice your blood sugar improves. Notice that your all the markers of health get better. So Go ahead. Specifically with regards to heart inflammation, what nutritional yes, what supplements do? would you recommend? You can't really do anything because it's a it's a good thing. The body, the heart inflammation to the body is a protective response. Oh, the inflammatory does. You don't want to do anything because the inflammatory response is protective. That being said, mm. things like vitamin E are are antioxidants. They can support the immune system. Mm. Vitamin C is invaluable for supporting the immune system. Selenium uh, is yeah. invaluable for supporting the immune system. Staying away from sugar. Staying away from toxicity. Well, what, what about yourself EFAs? Well Where do EFAs sit for, in this? What? Where do the essential fatty acids sit? I was about there? to say. I was about to tell you that. Hang on a second. It's a good point. Mm. Um, uh, keep taking care of your blood sugar system, making sure you're keeping your blood clean, and then nature's nature's uh, or the natural an the natural anti-inflammatories, nature's aspirin, mm. are omega-3 fatty acids. Mm. In fact, essential fatty acids have the same mechanism of action as anti-inflammatory drugs do. They inhibit inflammatory chemicals, but they don't do it like a drug, they do it like a nutrient. Mm. They reestablish balance. So for any inflammatory condition, obviously carditis, myocarditis, or mm. pericarditis, or inflammatory conditions, in essential fatty acids are a must-have. Now omega-3s are the anti-inflammatory essential fatty acids. Omega-3s are um, important for any inflammation, including inflammation of the heart and the circulatory system, inflammation in the neurology, the brain, and even inflammation in the skin. Omega-3 mm. fatty acids are protective for the sun, they're protective mm. against EMFs, they're protective against viral infections. They're very protective essential fatty, uh, omega-3 essential fatty acids. I'm not saying, by the way, only fish oil. People think of fish oil, mm. and it's true, DHA and EPA are definitely protective and anti-inflammatory, but they're not really truly essential fatty acids, they're derivatives. Mm. Omega-3 essential fatty acids are found mostly in grains and, and in uh, 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 greens. Oh. Grains and greens. Huh. Uh, should, I'm sorry, seeds and greens. Yeah. Chia seeds, black seeds, oh. spinach, yeah. watercress, 
Uh, those are those are natural. Oh, really? Watercress. I love this stuff. Watercress is. I great, didn't know right? that. That's they're, interesting. Uh, their parents, you. bok choy. Their parents, mm. omega three fatty acids. Huh. Uh, these leafy greens, as well as uh, as well as chia seeds and hemp seeds and flax seeds. Those are those contain something called ALA, alpha linolenic acid, mm. which is a parent omega three. Then there's the fish oil, which is the DHA and EPA. They're still valuable, but they're not essential in the sense that you, mm. your body can make DHA and EPA, oh, can't right. make ALA. Mm. Um, so they're also very important. So vitamin C, selenium, um, uh, digestive enzymes are also helpful, essential fatty acids, taking care of your blood sugar, mm. uh, vitamin E. Vitamin E is one of those very underappreciated uh, uh, protective vitamins. It doesn't really have a role to play in biochemistry as much yeah. as it has a role to play in protection. It's like a guardian. Huh. It protects against inflammation and it protects fats from being damaged. Mm. The heart is a fatty, a fatty organ, and a myocarditis can be caused by disturbances in the fatty profile of heart cells. So mm. vitamin E has a protective benefit there. Alpha lipoic acid can be protective too. Uh, these yeah. are all great protective nutrients that can help uh, uh, reduce the inflammatory response or at least stabilize the inflammatory response. Because some of the problems are associated with hyperinflammation, with an excessive inflammatory mm. response. So right. You need to have some inflammation. Uh, that's part of the body's healing process. Yeah. But you don't want to go out of control. You don't want to get crazy. So right. Some of these nutrients can help balance things out, keep it from be, uh, the inflammatory response from being hyper, hyperinflammatory. Mm. Also, omega-6 fatty acids, essential fatty acids, specifically uh, linoleic acid or LA, mm. while it has a reputation for being pro-inflammatory, it's also part of the healing response. Mm. So you need to have both. You need the omega-6s mm. and the omega-3s. That's why the ultimate EFAs and the ultimate EFA pluses, mm. they're balanced. They're both omega-6s. They're both omega-6 um, uh, and, and omega-3, and they're both important. Mm. But your point is well taken. Omega-6 and omega-3 essential fatty acids are your natural anti-inflammatories. So your body's, uh, they're nature's aspirin. Right? Are, are they also a, a blood thinner that they would um, reduce, possibly yeah, reduce blood clotting? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, and one of the problems associated with this inoculation is blood clotting, and that, that's because you've now introduced a foreign substance into the bloodstream, and one of the ways the body protects itself from foreign substances is uh, by clotting, by infl inflaming. And, yeah. and I've talked about this before, dirty blood is the underlying cause of yeah. all chronic disease. Dirty blood meaning clogged, sticky blood, mm. that is the end result of stuff getting into the bloodstream that shouldn't get into the bloodstream. Usually that's through the digestive system, leaky gut, mm -hmm. etc., cetera, uh, in what they call intestinal permeability syndrome. Mm -hmm. But obviously there's another way you can get things into the blood and that's through injection. So you can have yeah. the same problem. Yeah. So yes, all the things I just talked about, vitamin E, alpha lipoic acid, essential fatty acids, those are also uh, blood purifiers. Those can also help thin the blood as well. By thin mm -hmm. the blood, I don't mean overly thin the blood, but right. to keep the blood blood moving. And by the way, uh, smoking is a big problem because smoking also clots the blood because you're getting uh, toxins into the bloodstream through mm. cigarettes, through cigarette mm. smoke. So smokers are at high risk for blood problems, yeah. including uh, problems with this uh, with this particular respiratory virus as well as as well as the All inoculation. Right. So making sure you're oxygenating through deep breathing. Yeah. Slow deep breathing is a great way to thin the blood. Water is a great way to thin the blood, making sure that you're hydrated mm. under conditions of dehydration. The blood can be, become, become sluggish and sticky. Keeping the blood pure and clean and mm. moving effectively, even just physical movement mm. can do it. Just getting up out of your seat. You know, you've heard sitting is the new smoking, right? That's why. It's sitting, what's going to kill sitting, me, frankly. Well, it's the same idea. When you smoke, your blood stagnates, and yeah. when you sit, your blood stagnates. Right, right. Uh, this, I've always heard, you know, uh, cigarette smokers will get cold hands uh, and go. kind of white hands it is yeah a, 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 circulatory. A absolutely they'll get white hands or even or want they'll get uh, white around their mouth or even on their face mm. they'll be pale a lot of that is circulation well, well can't you actually kind of look at someone people talk about reading someone's I aura have. you can look at someone's skin and you can get an incredible absolutely. amount of information about what's absolutely. going on absolutely especially as they get older you know, mm. younger people are a little more resilient, but as people get older, if they've been smoking a long time or not taking care of themselves, it will definitely show up on their skin. And as a skincare professional, I've been in the skin business for many years, I can tell a lot by looking at somebody's skin, mm. especially older folks. Mm. Thinning skin mean, is meaningful, pale skin is meaningful, Yeah, Wrink, like wrinkles around the mouth, that can be meaningful. Ben, um, can the heart heal? How well can the yes. heart heal? Well, 
hard tissue can die. You know, you can mm -hmm. have pockets of hard tissue that dies. That's you know that happens. But yes, all the the, the body the heart cells regenerate, and you have new heart cells every. I think it's every two years or every three years. I, mm. I don't know how long it takes for heart cells to regenerate, mm. but they regenerate absolutely. But there are pockets of uh, if somebody has a heart attack or a, a silent heart attack, they may not even know it. There are little pockets of heart of of, uh, of heart tissue that are or dead tissue essentially, mm. and that can definitely happen. That can completely throw things off, obviously. Mm. Mm. Um, for our, our listening audience out there, uh, Ben's written a fantastic article called. Dirty Blood, and you'll find it on criticalhealthnews.com. Um, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, please do, and you'll get that article somewhere early in the in the sequence. Uh, ben, thank you so much for yeah, providing also, all this you know, insight about wanna, this. Let me just say this real quick. If people want like a quick way to protect the heart, not just for from the inoculation or from viruses, but just in general to protect the heart, get the healthy, healthy uh, brain and heart pack. It has everything you need to take care of your heart, Plus, it has the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is, which is just a great all-around supplement. So get the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. If you don't want to have to cobble together a bunch of supplements that are important for the heart, get the yeah. Healthy Brain and Heart That's Pack. That's why we have the packs. You don't have to think That's about it. That's why we have the packs, exactly. Uh, th thanks so much, Ben. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Good to see you, Johnson. <laughs>